What are shadow people? I've seen a few videos here on TikTok saying that shadow people are evil and I just thought I would share my two cents on the subject. And rightfully so, it can be very scary to see a dark shadowed figure in the corner of your room in the middle of the night or in the corner of your eye seeing a shadow dart past you. So I'm here to shed some light on these now there is many different reasons and explanations as to what these shadows actually are. The reason that we see a lot of these shadows is actually because your third eye is starting to open. You're starting to gain your psychic etheric sight and it's not completely clear all the way. And there's different levels and stages to your third eye opening and awakening. So one of the levels and stages is you will start to see the outline or the shadow of figures within these different dimensions and realms. So these shadows a lot of times can be your guides or your ancestors or just benevolent spirits that are around you watching over you and protecting you. But they could also very well be on the darker side of things and a being that you don't necessarily want to have within your space. But it's also important to mention on this subject that although this might be physically in this reality my house, in different dimensions and realms, this space looks very different and may be homes to other beings. So it is important to have different layers of protection within your home and within your space, not only on the physical but also in the etheric realms. And it is important to just state, you know, only beings that are for my highest good are allowed within my Overall, opening your third eye is not for the faint of heart. It's not something that you can force open. It is something that will occur naturally as a process of your spiritual awakening and ascension. No matter how hard some people might try along their spiritual journey to open their third eye, it's not something that will happen if it's not in your highest good along your life path and journey. Now, it's also important to point out that the third eye has many other different functions other than just seeing etherically within these realms. Each of these chakras and energy centers come with many different functions within the physical and non-physical realm. The capability and functions of these energy centers will either grow or contract depending on that individual's life path, the decisions that they make, and these energy centers receive different upgrades and downloads, if you will, throughout our lives, depending on the stage that we're at of development and overall all of the experiences that we have been through. But I hope this video was helpful to you and like and follow for more content like this.